Hi everyone, it's Cheryl with Cheryl's Paper Creations. I've got a new album to share today. This album is a design team project for Lucy at Tresors Deluxe. And it's an album that I made using Lemon Craft House of Roses paper collection. It's an eight and a half by eight and a half album. And it has a four and a half inch spine. And what I did for the cover was for the focal point I used a heart-shaped applique from Tresors and then I did a flower border and I used some mulberry roses and here's a butterfly here and these are some white pearl and flower sprays from my stash then I don't know if you can see them, but these are pink wheat acrylic sprays. And then underneath, there are some wire forms with netting, and I've got three of them there. And uh, then I used a pearl border around the edges. And the album closes with a hook and eye. And I have a rhinestone button, rhinestone and pearl button from Tresors. And on the spine, I used a piece of six inch lace. And then I used a white applique that has pearls and sequins. And I'll show you all of this. I also used a rhinestone and pearl brooch with the pink tassel. And here are some of the laces that I used for the spine. I ran this up my spine. This is a beautiful six inch lace. And then on the side I used this. On the cover, this is all I have left. This is beautiful um, pink floral lace and it has pearls and sequins. And I don't have a white applique to show you what I used on the spine, but here's a silver one. Just to give you an example, these are just gorgeous. They're, they've got pearls and sequins and dangles and they're just really elegant. So that's the cover of the album. I used a lot of that pink lace inside. It seemed to match perfectly with the papers. And on the first page, I've got the pink lace running down the pocket. And then I've got a floral cluster with some pink pearl sprays. My photo mats. And then I continued with the lace on this page. And I've got a handmade butterfly on that pocket there. And this is a lace from my stash. And I've got a floral embellishment with some millinery flowers from my stash and a rose. Another handmade butterfly. And my photo mats are sticking together. I've got three photo mats. I usually do three photo mats, four by six on each page. This pocket has lace from Tresors and I accented it with hot pink roses in the center of the flowers. And on this page, I did a border, a uh, pocket with um, some pearls along the border. And this is a magnetic flap page, and I used some of this beautiful Tresors lace. Again, I accented with little mulberry roses. 
and I used a rhinestone flower. Let's see if I can get it open here. It opens up. A photo can be put there. This album too, by the way, is a custom order. And here are my diagonal pages. And I used this beautiful mauve lace from Tresors. And I did a floral cluster on each page. <clears throat> and this lace came from the heart applique on the cover. And then the photo mats are the same in each pocket. Here's my waterfall. I have a little fairy with a floral cluster with some acrylic sprays. And this waterfall holds, I believe, 10. Nope, 12. 12 4 by 6 photos. And on this pocket, I used the pink lace again. And I don't know if you can see it, but I added some pink glitter to the white edges of the flowers. Here are my photo mats. Here's a belly band. And I used pink pearls. The lace is from Tresors with the butterflies. And finally, a coordinating page with the same lace and pearl trim and the butterfly. And three photo mats. I will put the link for Tressor Store in the video, in below the video. And please use my discount code Cheryl10 for 10% off your purchases. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon with another project for you. Bye now.